Hello once again all, Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, the premier source for all things North America construction framing softwood lumber and panel products, prices and market commentary, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia, every Friday since 1952. I'm going to do an update of U.S. Housing Starts, uh, which just came out this week for June of this year. And I'm going to compare to uh, May, and then I'm going to compare to uh, June of last year, uh, because that's really a good indication of, you know, where we were one year ago, which was horrible and, you know, unprecedented, um, and maybe give an idea of how things are going to be in the coming weeks and maybe in the next couple of months. Okay? So... Uh, total uh, housing starts in the U.S. for June of this year is up 6.3% compared to May of this year. And it's up 49% compared to June of 2020. Now remember, last year things were slowed down, but housing was still going on quite strong. So the last sort of good year for U.S. housing starts was 2018. 2019 was not a good year. Um, a lot of sawmills went into curtailment. Some sawmills even closed and things were quite depressed. The lumber prices were low. Then of course uh, 2020 started off well but then had that crash uh, in um, March, April and May when um, all the COVID restrictions and shutdowns were going on. Um, the rebuilding, the remodeling and do-it-yourself was going very strong. So there was a lot of ordering, um, buying of wood from the retailers. Now, from a wholesaler perspective, uh, the retailers do not set the price. I know it's difficult when people go to their local yard and see, you know, the price of lumber uh, on the shelf so high when uh, futures are down and cash, uh, like print, Madison's is down. Why am I not seeing this? Because there's a lag. There's a time um, when the retailers order and receive delivery uh, The What's on the shelf is uh, wood that they paid for, you know, a month or two ago, right? Or even longer because it takes a while to arrive. So the housing starts uh, for June compared to May of this year are up and compared to June of 2020 are up a lot, okay? Now, permits as I've been saying, uh, a little bit more useful to understand the future because normally it takes two months. So somebody puts in a permit, permit in June. In August, you will see that housing start, but you won't, that data doesn't come out until September, right? So the relationship between what is the housing starts data that comes out for one month ago, the permits, and then the lumber prices right now gives you a forward indicator of what might be coming for in two months housing starts, okay? Um, so compared to one year ago, housing total housing permits in the U.S. is up 35% in June, okay? So let's look at the graphs. I'll show you what the um, trend line for the housing starts and the permits is uh, compared to my lumber prices. And then I'm going to come back and talk about single family starts. Okay. So U.S. total housing starts for June of 2021 are up 6.3% compared to May and are up 49% compared to June of 2020. Gives you a good picture of where we were at then compared to where we are now. As for permits, for June of 2021, total housing permits are up 35% compared to one year ago. And at this time last year, things were ticking up quite a bit. So it's not surprising there's that much of an increase 
but where will it go? We can't really say right now. However, look at what the lumber prices have been doing for that same time. The blue line is this year. The price in the week of July 16th matches exactly where it was one year ago, but this year it's moving down, and last year it was moving up. So uh, it's really hard to draw a prediction out of this, but just uh, on a general standpoint, I'm going to say I think that that price of the benchmark Western Spruce 2x4 is going to level off in the coming weeks. Whether it goes up or down, probably down a little bit or level in the months following, uh, we won't know specifically until that time happens. But this data is for this week right now, and the housing data is for last month. So this is single family starts and that is the largest proportion of all home building by far and it uses the most wood so it's a much better indicator of um, lumber demand than the total starts and single family starts for June are up 23 percent compared to June of 2020 and in permits for single family they're up 32 percent compared to one year ago. I know some of this is down a little bit compared to one month ago, but again, I was saying month to month, the volatility is much greater. So if you look at total housing starts and permits compared to last month, I don't know how much that's going to tell you, but altogether combined compared to one year ago, when we now sort of are able to have hindsight into last year, how things were, what that meant, how much that mattered to the economy, what that did to housing prices, which come out next week. Um, and then we look at what the data is this year compared to one year ago. I think that we can start to understand where the market is at. So when people are calling a bubble and they're saying housing's in a bubble, lumber prices are in a bubble, it's not a bubble, I'm telling you it's not a bubble. It's not inventory building. People are not stockpiling. It's real demand for ongoing projects that is still happening now and has been happening for a year and is going to keep happening at least to the end of this year, if not into the beginning of next year. I'm getting calls from state governments building affordable housing, from medium sized home builders that are building rental apartments, rental housing, that are telling me they are not stopping their projects, millions and millions of dollars of projects that they have planned for January of 2022. Okay, so between the lumber prices and the housing starts right now, we can sort of try to get a trend for what's going to happen later this year. And those lumber prices were so incredibly high, we always knew that that wasn't going to last. We knew that 2x4s were not going to stay at $1,600. But we also know that they're not going to go back to $300. So where are they going to land? Somewhere between $600 and $800. But we won't know that for a while. When we take into account all of the these two videos that I just did, the rail car loadings, the lumber production, sawmill capacity utilization, housing starts next week, house prices. Um, that gives you a pretty good idea of where things are going to go. But you don't need all of this information, you know, all at once to understand that it's not stopping. Okay, so I'll leave it there for now. The um, data that I put on my videos and on my website is just a tiny portion of the total uh, information that we do. Our weekly data update is 450 individual lumber and panel, by panel I mean plywood and OSB, prices every Friday. And the market commentary, these things that I talk about like the order file and the inventory, log supply, uh, railway, transportation issues, all is available to subscribers. Go to my website, madisonsreport.com. I've got a link in the caption. 
and click subscribe to fill out a form and we'll get you a subscription to the full uh, dashboard. If you just need these little wee updates, then subscribe here on my YouTube. You will get the information, a tiny portion of the information, two or three weeks, a month later, when I have time to make a video. So that's it for now. Okay, so keep checking back, and we'll see you next time.